say it like you mean and say Delilah got to go she made him sleep upon her knees she called for a man to cut off his hair while he was asleep ah, she told her secret, told her secret while he was sleeping can I just throw this in extra be careful uh, uh, who you sleep around because you might talk at night Yo. And please don't be around folks when you're not in your right mind or you're medicated or intoxicated because you'll tell some stuff and in the morning things that you thought were there won't be there no more please hear me when i tell you you got to be careful where you lay down and you got to make sure who's in the room before you lay down please hear me when i tell you that delilah does not have to be a man or a woman but delilah can be anything that's holding you back talking to somebody the other day that was frustrated with church, tired of church, tired of church service, tired of church people, tired of tradition. The bottom line is not the people. The bottom line is you done got caught up in the spirit of Delilah. Look at it this way. The things that entice you, reduce you, or seduce you are the spirit of Delilah. This blows my mind. I wish I had time to preach this. I only got 10 minutes. The five lords of the Philistines were given 11. They were going to give her 1,100 pieces of silver to Delilah, according to verse 5. If the shekels of silver were 64 cents, then Delilah was to receive the equivalent of $704 per man. That was a total of $3,520 for the betrayal of Samson. Such an amount would be tempting to the ungodly and to the wicked of this world. But please understand that neither Delilah nor uh, uh, his other wives really loved him. Uh, put a pin there. Can I tell you that whether you know it or not, somebody got a price on your head. I like that. Let me try that again. Try that again. Tell somebody, somebody got a price on your head. Now, none of the women love Samson. Uh, her, her name should have meant something in the beginning. Because the name Delilah meant dainty one. It meant slickster. Of course, who wouldn't have hired her? Because when she walked in, she demanded attention. Shake it, but don't break it, baby. Her charm, her beauty, her personality, her smell, her mental ability, her self-command. Y'all know Delilah. Her nerves would demand the attention of anybody. But hear me, she never loved the man. She was in love with the money. She never loved the man. She was in love with what the man could do. If you want somebody to love you, tell God, I don't want nobody to love me for what I can do for them or for what my name is, but I need them to love me for me. I wish I had somebody. You know that there are many people who will try to entice you and love you because you got a position or because you got a name of course you got a nice car but what happens when the car ain't working so well what happens when you can pinch more than an inch what happens when your hair go gray i don't care how much you love him if he beat you he didn't love you he was delilah why you keep going back getting beat over again i don't care how much you love her if she tried to use you and bring you down she didn't love you perhaps with words but not indeed she was delilah I don't care how much you love the alcohol, it didn't love you. It was enticing, controlling, gave you a temporary satisfaction. It was Delilah, I don't care how much you love the crack cocaine. It took you down, made you low, made you lie, made you cheat, made you steal. It was Delilah. I came on this first Sunday to tell somebody, Delilah must go. Gambling can be your Delilah. Laziness can be your Delilah. Procrastination can be your Delilah. Habits can be your Delilah. Even grief can be your Delilah. Because grief will hang around. And a lot of times people don't understand grief. Because we feel like just because you got over something quick. That the rest of us going to get over it at the same time. But everybody does not heal at the same time. Lord help me here. Everybody doesn't let go very easy. Everybody has different types of flashbacks. 
if Delilah takes control of you, regardless of how she does it, Delilah will take you farther than you wanted to go. Now it seems to me that in view of the fact that Samson had been through previous relationships, you would think that he would have left well enough alone. But after experiencing two bad relationships, you would think he would have been careful in dealing with Delilah. But my brothers and sisters, the pattern is true. Oftentimes when your nose is wide open, and when you're attracted and allured and enticed, I wait till I get to my real church. I'm talking about when somebody really got you turned on, you just done. You just ain't no good. You just can't handle it. You're nervous when they walk in. Y'all making goo goo eyes across church, scratching it in one another's hand. Can't wait till the night. Get me a four hour raid at the motel. When your nose is open, you get enticed. And whatever it takes, you say, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. The text clearly showed that Samson was willing to go all the way with Delilah. Y'all, Delilah was pretty on the outside, but she was ugly on the inside. Do y'all know anybody like that? He was willing to do whatever it was to have her, uh, to, to give him strength. Many times in life we become so attracted that we're willing to forfeit the things of God uh, in order to get what we want uh, for temporary satisfaction. Delilah got his secret and that's what happens when we get enticed and lured to sin. I don't mean to bother y'all, but I believe by faith we ought to have a demonstration. Tell your neighbor, say Delilah must go. Somebody open the doors, open the door, open these doors and let's just get Delilah out of here. I don't care who Delilah is, this is Deliverance Sunday. Point to the door closest to you. Say Delilah, get out of my life. May the I ain't going to even ask the Lord to watch over you. But tell Delilah, you got to go. Y'all said to tell and tell Delilah, Delilah must go. I know this may sound crazy, but when you open the door, you're speaking symbolically to whatever has held you bound. Tell your neighbor, say Delilah has got to go. Y'all not talking in here, say I've been through hell and high water. I need to be freed up from the Delilah in my life. I wish I had somebody on my side. Talk to your neighbor, say neighbor, I got a feeling that I'm getting ready to get my hair back. So what has to happen here? I feel preachy and I ain't supposed to do that. But you've got to get released to Lila. But the last thing you got to do is return to a place of power. When you get back in the place of power, it's the place of refueling. Oh, come on, put it out one more time. Say, Delilah, you got to go. Have a place of reconnection. I don't want to be connected with anybody that's going to hold me down any longer. Anybody been held down long enough? We've got to return to the place of prayer. Listen what Samson says. He said, and my hair begin to grow again because I called on the Lord and I called him and I told him to take care of me. Has anybody here ever asked the Lord while you're passing out blessings, don't forget about me. Good morning, sweet Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you real well. But we used to sing a song that say, pass me not. I'm going a little higher, yeah. Oh, gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. Wow, on others, thou art calling. Do not pass me by. I wish I had two, three saints that have made it to the 11th month to talk to somebody. Say, I don't want the Lord to pass me by. I say, Lord, remember me in my sin. Remember me in my shortcomings. Remember me me uh, in my predicament. Uh, remember me uh, when I was falling uh, and when I was rising. Uh, Jude steps up to the mic uh, and say, go build yourself up uh, in the most holy faith. Uh, and the God that I serve uh, is going to give you your hair back. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, would you talk to somebody and say, neighbor, uh, hold on a little while longer. God uh, is going to give you your strength back. Uh, going to give you your power back. Don't God give you your hair back Cause when I get my hair back I'll be more than a conqueror I got my hair back now So I can run through troops And leap over walls Talk to somebody Say I got my hair back I can defeat the devil I can renew my faith I can 
resist temptation. I can perform my duties. Talk to somebody, say, I got my hand back up. My strength is renewed like the eagle. Come here, Isaiah. Isaiah said, 